Well, it's been a long day. Yes, sir. Noisy, loud, uproarious, but it was worth every second. Well, as Maureen mentioned before, <laughs> today was Washington Bullets Day. And it's estimated that over 50,000 area fans turned out to show their appreciation to the new NBA champions. The scheduled celebration started early this afternoon at the Cap Center. We have reports tonight from Pat Collins, Mike Buchanan, and Steve Gendell. They're getting the royal treatment, like victorious knights returning from battle. The bullets today are the objects of Washington's affection, applauded, paraded, cheered as champions of the world. First on their crowded agenda, a pep reception at the Capitol Center. The basketball house bullet owner Abe Poland built five years ago. There were revved up fans, E, D, CJ, and all the rest. I never really thought I'd want to win a championship in Maryland. And this I never want to leave Berlin, and, and thank you all, thank your teammates here. Only thing I can say is the champagne tastes real good. You are the number one fans because you pushed us, you made us look well. Well, let me put this, I hope you're going to enjoy it as much as I am. So let's do it. And of course, there was the fat lady, the bullets made famous. of the presidential-like motorcade down through Washington to the district building, White House, where they met with more fans and received more kudos. Ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to introduce the champions of the world, the Washington Bullets. Today, the fat lady met the president of the United States. Not since FBI was in office as Washington had a sports champion. So it's not surprising, perhaps, that the Marine Band found a version of Ruffles and Flourishes that sounded suspiciously like Bullets Fever. And Abe Poland even went as far as to offer the president a spot on the team as the Bullets' number two draft choice. There's a fat lady here. I was... Uh... <laughs> I've made this tremendous victory possible for the Bullets is the fact that it was a team effort. On behalf of the team and the entire Bullet organization, a great deal of honor to present a basketball to the President of the United States. This is unreal. This is unreal. At the Capitol, the champs stopped to listen to 30 minutes of praise from the politicians. The Bullets hardly got a word in. At RFK, 8,000 people roared when the Bullets arrived. The crowd had been standing, waiting, and cheering for two hours. And when the people got caught sight of the bullets, it was a breakaway. E waded into the crowd and waves of people crushed through the rope barriers. The PA system didn't work, and there wasn't a policeman in sight. This is incredible. I never expected anything like this when we came back to Washington. To meet the president um, at the White House, uh, the congressmen and House of Representatives, and then our terrific fans out here. This is unbelievable, Frank. Wes, uh, we get over here to Wes Unsell. <laughs> Wes, what do you think? Can you believe this? Ever seen anything like it? Frank, I've never seen anything like it, and uh, I doubt if any of us ever will again. Bullets officials got concerned about security and pulled the team. The NBA champs spent the next hour inside the stadium before escaping. The rally never got going. Team officials got a little bit concerned. The bullets had to be. That's it. The Washington Bullets are the NBA champs. The fat lady sang. The opera's over. Here at RFK, the rally never got started. And if you're feeling somewhat down, keep this in mind. In just two months, the Washington Redskins play their first game. After 36 years, Washington has a sports championship, thanks to the Bullets. This is Mike Buchanan, Eyewitness News.